Hello and welcome everyone, thank you for clicking on the video. This one is for Prompt 5, which is Zombie. I am releasing it later than I wanted to. Life kinda happened. But this one was a really fun one to do, so enjoy the video. There's not really a whole lot for me to say about this. The original design was very simple and basic, so I didn't want to put too much detail into it. I was trying to focus more on like a cutesy sort of bunny where the zombie part of it isn't too crazy, it's just some bones showing essentially. The only crazy thing that I did or the thing that required more of my attention and focus was the material at the end. I wanted to go for something uh, way different than what I've done in the past. So stay tuned for that, I do talk a little bit about it. But overall, this was just simply just grabbing a simple shape, moving it around, fixing it in place where I wanted it to be, changing the size of it a little bit, adding materials here and there, and then just going for that, you know, using my references and just designing it from there. So not much to say about it. If you are liking the video though, I would highly recommend subscribing and liking the video if you haven't already done so. I have noticed that I've been increasing in subscribers very slowly, but it's still an increase in subscribers, which is awesome, and I'm so very thankful for everyone who has subscribed.
using the texture coordinate mapping and noise texture nodes, I'm able to get this horizontal line shape set up. The scale for the mapping node I put at 200 for the Z axis only to make those lines. Plug it all into the color ramp to then intensify those lines to make them darker and sharper. And then turning that into a bump node for the normals to give it depth. And since I'm in cycles, I can use the geometry node or the pointedness to give it some color and also some wear and tear color as well. And that is essentially it. It's a very simple material, but combining all these parts together, I can make it look like it's been a 3D printed piece, which I just think is really cool and neat that I was able to figure this out and make it look, in my opinion, correctly. But it was a really fun material to make, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one.